Probably one of the most common questions that I get asked here on this channel is, how can I get approved for a credit card if I either have bad credit or if I don't have credit at all. So in this video, I'm gonna give you my three top credit cards that you can apply for today with a near 100% approval rating. Now the reason why I say near 100% approval rating is because like anything else, there's always that 0.1 or 0.0001% that well, this may not work out for you. But for the most part, just about anyone that I know that's either applied for these credit cards or has at least attempted to put these credit cards to use, has seen an immediate boost not only in their credit score, but has also seen an immediate use in other credit cards that they're able to apply for on the back end once they've been approved for the credit cards that I'm gonna be sharing with you here in this video. Now, as we go through the video, I am going to be ranking these from credit cards that I think are from worst to least. And when I say worst, I don't mean that they're not gonna help you maybe improve your credit score. I'm taking it from the angle of, well, you may possibly not get approved for some of them, or some of them may just have fees and annual fees that, well, you may not necessarily want to pay when it comes to actually taking out a secured credit card. Now make sure to stay throughout the entire video because the third credit card is the one that I used when I was rebuilding my credit score to where it's at today. And well, you're gonna wanna make sure that you stay tuned for that so that you find out exactly which credit card that is because in my opinion, that one has maybe a 99.999999% chance of you actually getting approved for it once you apply. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump on over to check out the first credit card that I recommend for you to check out. Now the first credit card that I'm going to recommend is going to be the Secured MasterCard from Capital One. Now what I like about this credit card is right here, it has zero annual fee and zero foreign transaction, which when you're making purchases, I mean, these transaction fees aren't crazy let's say 49 bucks or even 50 bucks for the whole year, especially when it comes to building your credit. But you know, if it's zero dollars and you definitely can't beat that. Now, when it comes to a deposit, you will have to make a deposit of $49.99 or $200 for a spending limit of at least $200. And here's what that means. So if you're not familiar with how a secured credit card works and how it varies from a regular credit card, in its most simplest form, it pretty much means that you are using your own money to fund the line of credit that you are looking to establish. So normally the way that it works is, let's say you get approved for a credit card and it's $1,000, you, that money technically is not yours, that's a loan on money that doesn't belong to you. So let's say you now owe the credit card company $1,000, let's say that you max it out, you owe that money back to the credit card company and then some interest. When it comes to a secured credit card, you're funding it yourself, let's say you put down $200, and in that $200, they're going to attach maybe a 25 or 26% uh, interest rate on that, which it really shouldn't matter how much the interest rate is, because in my opinion, if you have, again, a secured credit card and you're funding it yourself, then there's no reason for you to pay more money on your money, if that makes sense. So whenever you get that payment, let's say it's 100 bucks, Again, make that full payment every month rather than let's say just sending a minimum because again, it's kind of like you're borrowing money from yourself but then you're ending up paying more money on the back end is really the easiest way that I can put that. Now the next secured card on the list is going to be the Discover It. Now one of the best things about this card right here is well, like anything else, it doesn't have any annual fees and, and what makes it different from the one that we just finished breaking down, the Capital One, is the rewards cash uh, card holders with one to 2% cash back on purchases. Now, I personally am not a, what I would call big on, let's say, getting rewards, or I'm not really looking for rewards when I'm trying to rebuild my credit or when I was in the rebuild phase, because I knew that once I had my credit established, I would be able to pretty much pick and choose which credit card company I would want to apply for or what or which credit card I would want to try to get my hands on. If you're wondering about the deposit, it is a $200 minimum deposit that's required for the, for the Discover It, which again, it's on the lower tier. I wouldn't say that $200 is anything that's, I would say, out of a normal reach from most of these secured cards that you'll find. In addition to that, you're going to earn 2% cash back at gas stations and restaurants on up to $1,000 in combined purchases each quarter, plus earn an unlimited 1% cash back on all other purchases automatically. One thing that I did also want to point out is this piece right here, automatic reviews starting at eight months to see if you, if you can transition into an unsecured line. That right there to me is going to be a big 
deal breaker when selecting this car, let's say over uh, the Capital One, which is why I put it slightly above the Capital One card. And that transition helps you in the long run, especially when you're transitioning from a secured card to now let's say you're, you went from a 420 to now maybe a 670, 680. Now you're starting to kind of flirt with the 700s. Now you're able to transition into maybe a better card with Discover. All right, so now it's time to move on to the best card that I think. And again, this is my opinion because this is maybe one that's near and dear to my heart that helped me help really boost my credit score towards that today. And that's going to be the Open Sky credit card. Now, one thing about this credit card right here is I don't think I've ever met anyone who has who hasn't applied for it, including myself, and hasn't gotten approved, if that makes sense. And the, and the big reason for that is because it doesn't check your credit at all. It goes off of what you report for the amount of income, let's say on the questionnaire that they give you. And I think that that's really going to be key, whether you are a college student or maybe if you are in the rebuild phase, because as you know, even if there is a soft credit pull, being done on your credit, whether whether they're looking for a judgment or they're looking for a lien, that can hold you back from getting approved for one of these secured cards. But I don't think that's going to be the issue with Open Sky. And this is exactly why I like Open Sky Credit because they say right here, Open Sky is an affordable secured card with no credit check for new applicants, meaning there is no hard inquiry into your credit history when you apply. Remember, guys, that's going to be huge. That's why Open Sky is a great choice for people with damaged credit who want to have high approval odds, which was the case for me. Um, I think that at the time of me getting approved for this card, I had right around maybe 410, maybe 420. I was already doing some uh, some uh, some inquiries where I was getting some of those, uh, maybe some removals done on my credit, and I was also doing quite a bit of disputing. And then in addition to that, tacking on this, this line of credit, the secured card, really helped engage and boost that credit to where it's at today. Now, if you're wondering, there's a bit more of a downside here in that it's a minimum of a $200 security deposit. So it's not going to be like the other cards where it was, let's say 45 bucks, 100 bucks or 99. There is going to be at least right here, $200 in order for you to, let's say, open that card up. And then of course, let I me mean, like anything else, there's a little bit of downside here, but I think it's definitely worth the reward that it gives you on the back end. There is a $35 annual fee. Look, $35 isn't going to kill your bank. Neither is a 3% foreign transaction fee, especially when, you know, something like what happened to me can happen to you within four, within month four, maybe even month six, you're able to see quite a bit of a boost on your credit card and then you can transition into a full line of credit afterwards. And don't forget that it doesn't have to be 200. This is just the refundable deposit that you give but it has to start at 200. So let's say if you wanted it to be at 200, 500, even up to a thousand bucks, you can go ahead and do so, or you can go ahead and go through your credit union altogether. But I know with those kind of works a little bit differently from what we have here. So there you have it. Those are the three best secured credit cards, in my opinion, that you can use either in 2020 or in 2021 and beyond. In my opinion, I think that these are going to be the three best, whether you are a college student, you're, or you're in the rebuild phase, or if you just have no credit at all, make sure to check those out. And let me know down in the comments if there's maybe a credit card that I didn't mention on here that perhaps worked wonders for you when you were building your credit all together. So if you appreciate this content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and join the official community. Tap that notification bell so you can be notified every time we have content like this dropping each and every single week. And don't forget that every time we're not posting on here, we are posting over on our podcast style channel, which is the Insight with Irv show. So if you like this, you'll absolutely love what we have going on over there. And I wanna thank our sponsors over at Amazon's Audible, where they made it easy and convenient for you to enjoy not, not only a free month, but as well as a free book by hitting the link down in the description. And right in the description, we also have the link to our amazing YouTube course, as well as promo code that shows you how to build a YouTube channel and monetize it from scratch, just like we've been able to do on this channel. I show you exactly how I was able to do it in under six months. So hey, if that sits well with you, go ahead and check that out. And if you have any questions, make sure to email me. Once again, my name is Irvin Pena, also known as Herb Official. Until next time, everyone, we'll see ya.